Welcome to my Aptera journey. My name is Rich Rodriguez. This video will cover the progression of Aptera design, staff addition at Aptera Motors, transition to production mindset, and Aptera finances in stock. Wow, we've got a lot to cover. So let's dive into this. Ode to Aptera, the most efficient vehicle on the planet. Hello, my name is Rich Rodriguez and welcome to my Aptera journey. This channel is about the thrill of the Aptera on a twisting, curving mountain road and the rush of adrenaline with the zero to 60 acceleration time in under six seconds. And the pleasure of charging your car from the sun. And on some models, the confidence of up to 1000 miles of range. But we don't have an Aptera yet, and some specifications have changed to get Aptera to market quicker. Despite that, there are some things I would like to share with you today. First though, a little about me. I'm a trained electrical engineer, so I understand how EVs work. I'm an EV owner with over 180,000 miles of experience, so I get range and charging. I have an MBA in finance, and I have been mentored by an investment banker. And in my day job, I read and analyze financial statements every day. And today we're going to talk about the progression of Aptera design, staff addition at Aptera Motors, transition to production mindset, and Aptera finances in stock. We have a lot to cover. So let's dive into it. Part one, progression of Aptera design. Let's look back at the history of the Aptera design from their initial 2019 design to the current 2025 production intent design we see today. Body, as I mentioned in July, the Aptera Roadster design has matured since 2019. We have witnessed the change from an infused honeycomb body type, seen here, to the carbon fiber body that we see today, also here. Why the change? When Aptera launched in 2019, they thought they would see perhaps a few hundred orders for this next generation vehicle. The carbon fiber parts produced in Italy by CPC Group can be forged in minutes and come out perfect every time. Because of the forging process, these body parts don't require secondary operations like spot welding. The carbon fiber body parts are better suited for the 50,000 plus units that have been pre-ordered. These forged carbon parts are seemingly strong as steel, lightweight, and low in cost. I know I've examined these parts while I was visiting the Aptera Motors stand at CES 2025 in Las Vegas. CPC Group, by the way, is a supplier of carbon fiber parts to exotic sports car manufacturers. Seems fitting for Aptera Motors, don't you think? Headlights. Since 2019, we have seen the headlight design mature. 
The early vehicle designs had headlight placements from left to right on the outside, as seen here. Now, in the production intent design, we see the headlights are in the center of the vehicle, as you can see here. Why the change? It better complies with Aptera's understanding of the law for an auto cycle, which the Aptera is classified as. I saw these lights in action at CES in Las Vegas. They were seemingly well designed. They were lit for hours non-stop in the Las Vegas sun without any problems. This suggests to me the LED lamps are receiving proper cooling. Two, they seemed to light the roadway well, as you can see here. Can't wait to get behind the wheel to see how these headlights perform. The motor. Probably the biggest change, as viewed by many thousands of Aptera enthusiasts, is the change from in-wheel motors to a standard front-wheel drive system. The Aptera introduced in 2019 had an innovative three-motor in-wheel, all-wheel drive system. Now, in a prudent move to get to market quickly, Aptera moved to an off-the-shelf unit from a well-regarded German automotive parts supplier, the Tesco. The motor shown here. Yes, many of us prefer the all-wheel drive concept, but there is the likelihood Aptera will bring this back at some point in time. After all, the real innovation in Aptera is not the motors. It's the efficiency of the aerodynamic shape, lightweight body structure, and the useful solar. I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel and checking out the handling on a mountain road, the straightaways, and the interstate. Part two, staff edition. Aptera Motors recently, proudly, announced the addition of a new key individual. So who is this individual? Leon Knuntz. Aptera Motors touts Leon as successfully launching groundbreaking vehicles at Tesla, Neo, Ford, and other leading automotive and energy storage companies. Together, Leon spent some seven years at these companies. But I'm fascinated with his time at Daimler Trucks of North America and United Streetcar. Why? Well, they are both in Portland, Oregon, where I live. And together, Leon spent 14 years in Portland between Daimler Trucks and United Streetcar twice as long as his time with Tesla, Neo, and Ford. So what did Leon learn in his time in Portland? At Daimler, he led two new trucks from concept to production implementation. He increased production volume and streamlined manufacturing processes. He recruited and managed a new team of designers and engineers specialized in vehicles, lightweight materials, body stamping, composites, structures, and interiors and exteriors. At United Streetcar, he was in executive management where he led engineering, product planning, and operations. Leon was responsible for creating, building, the new company, engineering, operations, testing, and production, for the first modern streetcar American-made in the last 60 years. He set up the manufacturing facilities, tools and fixtures, testing facility, and test track. Amazing. And I would agree with this, a quote from Steve Fambro, co-CEO of Aptera. Quote, Leon is exactly the kind of systems thinker and builder we Aptera, need to take Aptera across the production finish line. I think Leon is an exceptional hire. 
Part three, transition to production mindset. In this section, I'm going to share a few thoughts about Aptera's huge transition from engineering development to manufacturing engineering. Some background. Early in my electrical engineering career, I started at a smallish company where new design engineering, design test, and manufacturing were all done in the same building. I can tell you designing a microcontroller board is far different from going downstairs to the production floor to see why some assembly that you did not design was not working. You talk with the assemblers, you review assembly documentation and notes, then you have to reverse engineer in your head what the design is supposed to do. That is a far different skill set than designing, testing, and documenting. This transition from design engineering to manufacturing engineering and production is happening now at Aptera Motors. Look at these crates that are, have arrived at the Carlsbad facility. A huge amount of materials. Think about it. Wire harnesses, seats, displays, interior trim pieces, I suspect, I suspect a lot of them. Wheels, steering wheels, brake lines, and so much more. Yes, that is a change in mindset. Materials for production, materials for assembly, interfaces, assembly documentation. Oh, in Aptera Motors, has now decided to assemble the body and carbon parts in Carlsbad. Aptera's original thinking was to have the body and carbon parts fully assembled into a complete vehicle and then shipped from Italy to California. Now, likely because of the cost of shipping the whole body from Italy to California, the Aptera team has insightfully decided to build the body and white parts in California. See this jig and body being assembled? Yep, that's in Aptera's factory in California. Aptera's transition. This transition from engineering development to manufacturing engineering and then assembly can be fraught, as Tesla well knows. Is Aptera about to enter a production hell? Or will the new Senior VP of Engineering Canons, along with tips and tricks from Sandy Monroe, help ease the glide path for a well-built Aptera leaving California in the next 12 months? One thing we can say for sure is that the transition into production is happening now. Part four, Aptera finances and my stock expectations. Aptera finances. In my day job, I look at financial statements every day. So I noticed yesterday that Aptera posted a new form 10Q on the SEC website. The 10Q is the company's quarterly financial report. While I won't at the moment, do a complete walkthrough of the quarterly financial results, I want to offer just a few comments. I want to focus on cash for the moment. In June Q2, Aptera Motors had about $13 million in cash, while in September Q3, they had about $12 million. Considering the stock listing just happened with travel to New York, and the company is ordering and receiving materials for production and tent vehicles. Remember those crates that we saw? I think this small 8% change in cash is pretty good. How is this possible? In Q2, they sold $7.6 million worth of stock, while in Q3, they sold $11.5 million in stock. That's an additional $3.9 million over the prior quarter. Also, in Q2, they received $744,000 
in California grant proceeds, while in Q3, the most recent quarter, they received $1.8 million. That's roughly $1 million more in grant proceeds over the prior quarter. Between the stock sales and the grant proceeds in Q3, Aptera Motors received some $4.9 million in cash. This cash infusion is vital as the company turns the cash into validation vehicles and needed tools and tooling assets. Because Aptera Motors controls the timing of the $75 million equity line of credit with New Circle Capital, there's a good likelihood the company will continue to manage cash well. Well done, Aptera. Aptera stock. This week, I watched several videos seemingly prepared by well-informed and well-researched parties. These include FD Finance from Germany and Ride the Future from the United Kingdom. These two are emblematic of well-informed and well-researched parties who want to spotlight the Aptera. I believe these interested parties will have an accelerating effect on interest in the Aptera car and may want to make a reservation or have interest in investing in Aptera. Both of these are positive for the company and the company's stock. I bought more shares this month and I intend to buy more shares next month. While it's always fraught to predict corporate performance into the future, I see the Aptera Roadster offering game-changing, hyper-efficient, solar-enhanced transportation as a tremendous business proposition and opportunity. I envision demand for the Aptera from around the world. Led by dedicated, experienced engineers and successful entrepreneurs, Aptera Motors offers the potential for real-world success on a global scale. I'm on board for that journey. Well, that's all I have for today, friends. My wish for you is to be well, do good work, and charge on. Wingless flag. I love Aptera. It feels so bad. The future is now. Protect Mother Earth. Keep her healthy for what it's worth. What's your pleasure, Luna or Soul? Let's save the planet. Taking off from the sun No more drilling Can't you see